This is chapter 14 in the behind the scenes look at the building of El Azteca from Cochise Guitars. In this chapter, we're going to see exactly how I cut nuts for guitars. And while most people would just say, well, this is a, you know, you just get a nut and most of them have, no. Even if they come pre slotted and you're not cutting it from a blank, there's a process that you must go through to do number one to make sure that the, the uh, notes and open strings ring true without any sympathetic vibrations or overtones and secondly you have to make sure that if you bend the string it'll return to pitch and that's the two basic functions of the nut uh, a bad nut can, can basically put every note that you fret out of tune it's amazing but what I like to do is I use the Graphitech Tusk product on the majority of the guitars I build uh, I like it because it's a synthetic bone and it has they add uh, Teflon to it so if you use a guitar with tremolo uh, then it, uh, it really is a slick surface that it can slide through and it's hard what I'm doing here is taking individual nut files for different gauges. During this is actually a 10 through a 46 set, which is normally what I do use on guitars. And if you notice on that G string I just filed, I actually fanned it to the right because inherently all 3x3 headstocks have a problem with the G string going out of tune because if you file it straight, it's cutting at such a deep angle that you're going to always get a little problem with it. In addition to that, I make sure that all of my uh, files are falling off. So the leading edge that's next to the fretboard is the only thing that touches the string and everything else falls off at the same angle, 15 degrees of the headstock. So, that's it for chapter 14. We'll see you in chapter 15.